Hello YouTube and welcome back. In this video we're going to be talking about lifter preload. It's just a quick little dab in lifter preload. I need to do a bigger video and break it down, have some drawings, diagrams, pictures, everything. But right now it's going to be a real quick, slight quick lifter preload video. Uh, also, part two, little bonus thing. Have you all had problems with your Chrysler V6 cylinder heads with the rocker arms? And the issue that I'm talking about is the rollers inside, I don't know if you can see that, actually has a lot of play in there. And this particular cylinder head, the customer had a ticking noise on top. He went and he bought a set of lifters and rockers. Didn't buy them from eBay, bought them from Amazon. It doesn't matter where he bought them. Should have probably bought them from the dealer. Or eBay Motors does has factory Chrysler rockers and lifters. That's not the point. The point is he put them on and the no problem more. was there's no more ticking, but now it had a miss. So check engine light, it goes over to a, a, a shop because he did it himself and he thought maybe he did something wrong. Then in further inspection, the cylinder head is now here thinking there's something wrong. Well, we pulled the cam off. I pulled vacuum on the exhaust ports, on the intake ports, they pull fine. Actually, the technician, he actually did a leak down test and had no leak down, had like two, 3% leak down. So he knew it wasn't in the valves, but couldn't figure out what it could have possibly been. The head comes in, we pull all this apart, pull the springs out, check valve heights, and they're okay. They're slightly on the higher side, but within spec. After going back and forth with the factory rockers that he took off, the ones he bought from um, Amazon, there was still an issue. Here we go, why are we getting into the lifter preload? Too much lifter preload. So, too much lifter preload just means the lifter bottoms all the way out and it's still holding the valve open. So that was not gonna work, obviously it didn't, it didn't work. So let's get into talking about lifter preload. A hydraulic lifter, I'm gonna call it a Johnson style lifter. Um, old school guys, we all know what a Johnson lifter is. And a Johnson style lifter just means it has a piston inside and a check valve and a little plunger up on the top that moves up and down. We want a minimum, and I've used this standard, this is my standard, I've used this for since I was a kid on the regular Chevy Ford style lifter and I still use that even on the import stuff. It's never, um, it's never failed me. So in my general rule of thumb, general rule of thumb right here, minimum of 20,000s preload, maximum of 60,000s preload. So what does that mean? I want to push the plunger down at least 20,000s, that's the minimum preload, and I don't want to push it down past 60,000s. So we like the plunger to be in there in that window of 35,000, 30, 40. There's a minimum and there's a max, okay? This style lifter is a little bit different than a Chevy lifter, Chevy 350 lifter, I could find one. If you have less than 20,000s preload, the C-clip that holds the whole thing together can actually pop the C-clip off, especially in high RPM. So you've, si you've probably seen this. If you pull the engine apart and there's C-clips laying in the valley, when you pull the intake off and there's a bunch of little clips in there from the lifters, that did not have enough lifter preload. Um, it it could have had valve float and high RPM, but not enough lifter preload and it knocked the C-clips all off of the lifters. That's how you know you didn't have enough lifter preload. Besides tick, 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 tick. Too much lifter preload. There's a little hole in there. Maybe I can stop, let it focus. I do not know, but put it on my face. All right, there's a little hole in here. That little hole in there, there's a piston on the inside. If you move this up and down, you can see there's a little hole that feeds all to the piston inside. If there's more than 60,000 preload, too much preload, the oil can get in there above the piston and collapse a lifter. So too much preload can collapse a lifter. If there's way too much preload, it's gonna hold the valve open. Not enough preload, it's gonna make a ticking noise, or it can actually break the C-clip on a standard Chevy V8 Ford Chrysler style lifter. All right, this particular engine had too much preload. And we find out what the problem is now. I find out what the problem is now, turn the camera on, now y'all will see what the problem is. Maybe it'll help some uh, uh, Dodge 
Chrysler V6 guys. This can't be the only one it's ever happened to. So it has a bad design, defective, whatever you want to call it, rockers. Can you hear them? That all worn out was the ticking sound. It wasn't the lifters. We could have left the lifters alone. The oil was extremely clean. You can see the this thing is a new it's a new vehicle. Didn't have a lot of miles on it. Um, it could have been helped with synthetic. I don't know if you're running synthetic or not, but I feel the problem is right here. Saw it here first. See this roller pin? This is the roller pin that goes inside of here. Inside of here, then what you're going to have, I'll probably get a picture further down in here, a bunch of these little needle bearings. All the needle bearings are intact. Um, it didn't have any needle bearings in here. It didn't destroy any needle bearings. What it did, it wore the pin. The little pin where all the needle bearings go on the outside, it wore it. So I got a feeling this is not heat treated enough. It wore it so bad. I don't think there's any heat treating in that pin. And there's a bunch of them. I mean, there's, see that? Don't know if you see it or not, but there is a bunch of bad rockers. He bought another set of rockers. These that you get from, not Chrysler ones, but from wherever they got them from. I know where they were sold from. They're not right either. So when you put them on, it actually holds the valve open. I'm gonna bring you over here and you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, here's the rockers that I'm talking about. Here's the rockers that he bought off the internet. I'm not complaining with the internet. I got the springs off, but I'm gonna go underneath here on my little stand and push the valves all the way up as far as they'll go. I'm even gonna use here to pull the rocker as hard or as high up as it goes. It's a pivot point and I got all the oil bled out of the lifter. The lifters all the way collapsed. It's rockers all the way up and the valves are still staying open. So as I push this all the way up on the base circle, the base circle just means not the high lift part of the cam, but the bottom, that's called a base circle. Got it all the way up and the valves are actually spinning. They're just spinning, they're not going all the way up. That's why he didn't have any compression and he had a check engine light on. Now I put the two Chrysler ones. We had them delivered. Chrysler just brought them in. Blue Bonnet, New Braunfels, you know who you are. Thank y'all. Had them in stock. Chrysler ones, not aftermarket ones. Put them in there, put it at the base circle, go all the way up, and my valve, I cannot turn it. It's closing the valve. It is closing the valve. So, I checked the ones he bought on the internet. I checked the factory ones, and we find out there's something wrong with this one. It may look like a Chrysler one, And so that I don't mix anything up, I'm tagging all my Chrysler ones to begin with as I pull them out of the package. So it looks identical to the Chrysler rocker. It's not. It seems to be 30,000 or so um, too low. So when you put this on and you tighten everything up, it actually pushes the rocker, it pushes the lifter all the way down and it's still, it's bottomed out and the valve's staying open. So what are we talking about? Too much lifter preload. So I, it can't go any further down, the valve's not gonna close, that's the problem. So on this Chrysler, it just happened to be that the rockers aren't designed like the factory rocker. All right, so we know that the install height is 2.063 is the max. Max install height, you have a minimum also. Um, we have 2.044, we're gonna add 30 thousandths for the shim. We're still at 74, so we're under the max height. Real close, I think Chrysler let them up a little bit on the high side, but within spec. So that's how I knew that it wasn't that it had a collapsed valve. Because we were thinking maybe it sucked the valve. If it sucks the valve, that means it goes f further in the, the combustion chamber than normal. And the valve heights would be higher. Which means that it would slam the lifter all the way down, holding the valve open. But we knew kind of that it could have been that. But when he did a leak down test, it had compression. So we, we just knew there had to be something wrong. That's why he pulled the, the cylinder head off. 
All that being said, it has to do with lifter preload. In this particular instance, it's a factory rockers that the, are defective from Chrysler and then not buying Chrysler replacements. Um, sometimes mentality would say, why am I going to put a Chrysler rocker back on if it's the Chrysler rocker that's the defect? I get that. So trying a different manufacturer would kind of make a little sense. But in this particular instance, the different manufacturer rocker is not in the same spec as a factory one, and it held the valve open once again. Anyway, quick short tip video, lifter preload. That's how we, we found there was a problem. It's, it has too much lifter preload. Then we had to figure out why, but that's not here nor there, but I'm here. Let's get this rockers back on. Let's get the springs back on so it can be there and back on the vehicle. So, all right, so there we go. We found this problem out by checking our lifter preload. So lifter preload using the general 20 to 60, you can figure out all kinds of stuff. I've never had that fail me on the imports I, I started to, to adapt a little bit by an import lifter doesn't need as much, but I've never had that bite me in the butt. Had other stuff bite me in the butt, but it's not that. So lifter preload, lifter preload on a hydraulic. On a solid, we have lash. So we have, we have lash, which means um, extra clearance, and then preload means we have zero clearance, plus we're putting a preload. We're actually putting more of a load on the lifter. So there you go. Lash is loose. Preload is how much you put on there tighter than zero. That makes sense. All right. I hope it did um, I hope this helps somebody with the Chrysler also that has these problems with this factory defective rocker What do we find just put a Chrysler one and That would have taken care of the problem, but now we know and now you know all right have a good weekend I'm gonna get this back together get it to the customer so they can have a good weekend and we'll see you on the next one